provide for the people. The scripture says, Do you not know that you are the temple of God? And the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Different shades of the color brown, whether That's it's a right. dark, 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 dark brown, damn near, damn near dark black, purple brown, or whether it's a light, 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 right. light, sandy, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Tannish brown. Teach, right. God, so we brown. We're brown. We're brown people. There's nobody that's the color of your sleeves. Right. No, no black men on this earth, no matter how so dark why, you are, so that's the color of your sleeves. Black, We're considered black. They, let's look up the word black. Let's look up the word black and get some synonyms for that word. Black is mysterious, right? No, black is going into lack of color. The absence of a color, but it's also they call us black because they say that we are evil. Evil. Right. That's why they call us black. Because it's going into being, you know, to, to being evil. And then they call themselves white because white is going into pure. So how is that the difference if, like, if a diamond is black and it's a pure diamond? So how can that even be that a person would consider what is pure because any color could be pure? Whether but I'm just talking about black. the definitions of the words and how they use them right. pertaining to us and them. Get out! I understand. That's all, that's all I was bringing out. I right. just, I, I mean, I read, I read the Bible too, and it's a lot of things that I have, like, took into consideration for myself. Like, God also tells us not to... You know, right. worry about a person's skin color because it doesn't matter. You know, where is that at? It says that I'm not sure, but I know I have read it before, and it says that we, we shouldn't, you know, what I'm saying, so does God, and we, sh and we should okay. love our enemy, whether a person hates you or not. You know what I mean? Whether any, as long as I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and keep this person away from me, like I didn't got a plenty of uh, confrontations with police officers that was, you know, what I'm saying, white okay. and, and did other things to me, but as long as I feel like I held my ground, I did what I had to do to keep myself out of a situation to fight for my life. I feel like, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, now watch this. So the scripture should say, love your enemy, right? It does say. That's, okay, now let's go to Micah, because you got to understand what that scripture is talking about. It's not talking about uh, so the enemies so of the other nations. Right. Bring it out. It's talking about the enemies of your own people. That's, That's right. right. So I'm going to show you. Two and eight. So go I to Micah love, 2 and 8. I should love everybody, though, right? Before you get that, give me Sirach 12. I'm going to show you what it says about the enemies of the other nations. Give me uh, Sirach 12. Watch this. I'm going to show you what it says about the enemies of the other nations. Then I'm going to show you what it says about the enemies of your own people. 12 and 10. Bring it out. Read Sirach 12 and 10. The book, the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Bring it out. Never trust thine enemy. See what the Bible says? Read it again. Never. Trust thine enemy. Why does the Bible say that? Because you have a people that has overcame you. They they put you in slavery. They teach you that Jesus Christ of the Bible, which is a black man, which is a black man, they teach you that he's a white man. You've been taught that all the people of the Bible are white. I this know, is what I they know. teach us. Jesus, I know Jesus is black because right. also states that in the Bible that he is. He Correct. Is. But what I'm saying is the, the, the people that enslaved your people, rape, robbed, and enslaved your people, they teach us doctrines that's not in the Bible. That's right. right. And, and, and it's only to teach you to love them more than you love yourself. That's right. That's what the, that's what I'm talking about as, as a whole. I'm not right. just talking about just you as one person. I'm talking about our nation as a whole. That's why a person can walk into a, 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 a black Christian church, gun down nine to twelve people, and then our people turn around and say, I forgive you. Right. right. Because they look at that particular person, and when they so look at I it, they see Jesus. So should I retaliate? No, 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 no. The scriptures say, be ye angry and sin not. That's so right. No, 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 no. We advocate violence not at all. So we don't someone, advocate if someone, violence. If someone tries to attack me and I defend myself, is that right? That's different. You, you're defending can I, yourself. Can I say something, officer? Go ahead. Okay. I just want to say this because all prayers to the Most High, and, and, and a lot of times, we get that uh, that that doctrine. I, I first want to commend you, brother, because the scriptures right. say. Um, I, I want to read uh, a couple scriptures for you. Give me uh, give me uh, Romans chapter two and verse fourteen. I brought this up the other night. Watch this because it's heavy. Because at the end of the day, 
like the scriptures say, our people got a zeal of God, just not according to knowledge. And right. right now, you know, we consider Gentiles because we're not in the same covenant with Christ. We're not keeping the commandments as Christ gave them to us, right? right. Watch right. this. Romans <clears throat> chapter 2 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For when the Gentiles, uh -huh. which have not the law, uh -huh. do by nature the things contained in the law, uh -huh. these, having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Are a law unto yourself. And you got Christ in you, bro. Right. Understand that you got the Spirit of God in you. Why? Because earlier you read, you, you quoted some out the Bible. Give me that. Uh, 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 Thanks, Ecclesiastes 11 and 8. Watch this. Watch this. Ecclesiastes 11 and 8. The book of Sirach, chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, you got it. Ecclesiasticus, uh -huh. chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Uh -huh. Neither interrupt the man, interrupt men in the midst of their talk. I'm, I'm listening to you, I'm like, wow, that's a commandment of God. You might not have knew it, but guess what? That's a commandments of God in you already. We got righteousness in us. That's why what the officer is saying, give me uh, Leviticus 15, 19 and 15. This is what the officer is saying. He's not saying just go out there uh, uh, green and love everybody. He's saying when you're dealing with people, it's a certain way you got to deal with them. as according to God and how he explains it. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 15. Uh-huh. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. The Bible says we shouldn't do no unrighteousness in judgment. Go ahead. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor. Meaning if you poor and you ain't got nothing, you steal and you're stealing. You're getting judged the same. Go ahead. Nor honor the person of the mighty. That means if you uh, on P Diddy level and you're an adulterer, uh, you're getting judged the same. I'm right. Like, right. Go ahead. Right. But in righteousness uh -huh. shall thou judge thy neighbor. Meaning in righteousness, we got to be able to judge each other. That's right. For example, right, we talk about the other nations. According to God, God says he has a righteous judgment for you when you sin and for the other nations, for what they did to us. It's not nothing that we can do. It's out of our head. I just want to show you one judgment that God got not only for for the other nations. Give me that revelation. I just approved to you that, that this ain't nothing. It's out of our head, right? Watch this. This is this is of God. 13. The book of Revelation, chapter 13. And verse 10, he that lives. Okay. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, uh -huh. let him hear. Uh -huh. He that leadeth into captivity. So if you have an ear, meaning what? Understanding. Understand this. He that do what? He that leadeth into captivity. Uh, who, he that leads somebody into captivity. If you take a people as right. slaves, right? Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. That's God's judgment. Ain't no way around that. That's right. So I'm not saying go around here and hate and kill. No, I'm saying wait on the Lord because God is a righteous man and he right. has righteous judgment in the same way we should have. Teach righteous God. judgment after the Father. That's, That's how right. we should conduct ourselves. Not just love everybody blindly. Not just hate anybody blindly. But understanding judgment. You understand that? Yeah, All praise to the most high. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.